how to trade double bottom on downtrend. That's something that I have seen from the comment section that you're interested to know. Because anytime you open your chart and find this double bottom and it's on downtrend and you don't know how to trade it, trust me, either you'll be frustrated, either you'll be lucky, you'll make money, but at the end of the day, you cannot uh, you cannot duplicate, duplicate the results or the whatever you did because today you're profitable, tomorrow you're not. So this lesson will uh, tackle a lot and I will be able to share with you what my findings because my two favorite patterns are double tops and double bottoms. And I don't think maybe from lesson one to lesson 10, I'll be talking of double bottoms a lot and then maybe we can figure it out from lesson 11. So if you've not subscribed my YouTube channel, Subscribe if you want these details. So you need to understand, by the way, double bottom on a downtrend, what do we mean? This market is a downtrend. Can you see? The farthest or the highest peak of this market was um, that price, 0 0.76. So we can even tell from where the market was high to where now we have, uh, these are so many pips that have gone down. Let's see how many pips have gone down. Uh, almost a thousand pips. So if the market has dropped with a thousand pips, of course, that is a downtrend. So how do you tackle a downtrend, a double bottom on a downtrend? First, you need to understand any double bottom equals a buy because anytime you have a double bottom, we are hoping for the move to go up. So any double bottom you see in the market, the market has to move up or oh, that's the agenda. That's what we are looking forward to. So the double bottoms on a downtrend, it is very, very tricky and hard to trade them. Why? Because imagine who is in control. When the market is going down, tell me who is in control. Is it buyers? Is it sellers? Who is in control in this case? So if I come and I make this double bottom, what makes you think that now all of a sudden I will just come and reverse this market like nothing was happening. So reversal of the market, to catch reversal is very, very hard. But when you do, you will get more pips. And that's why people are so much obsessed with reversal market. So if you're not at an advanced trader, all I can tell you is that pay attention on these smaller things, more so any double bottom on a downtrend, stop ideas, all oh, this will reverse, I'll buy. Now trade the way I'll show you. So for market to reverse this way, it needs a lot of movement. And if at all, whoever moves the market is not willing for this market to buy, or they see many people are willing to buy, guess what? They cannot buy with you. They will always take the market down. So I want to teach you something so quickly before even we go to the lesson of today. Because for me, I believe I need to lay a good foundation. You see, a foundation is what many people will not forget. So you need to understand what double bottom are bad. So a double bottom can bath two things. So here, if I have a double bottom here, if this is my double bottom, this is my double bottom, I just a normal double bottom. If that's my double bottom. So I have uh, the first attempt. So where will I put? So I have this first attempt, the first bottom, and I have the second bottom. You need to understand that a double bottom can bath the number one, can bath a complete double bottom. A complete double bottom is the one that has a neckline. So the market can come, break the neckline, TP2. Once it break neckline, TP2, what does it do? What, once it breaks the neckline, TP2, what does it do? It goes to this distance. So you will measure this distance. This is the distance that you will measure. Once you measure this distance, that is what we call complete double bottom. So anytime, if you ever want to know my double bottom, has it done a complete double bottom? How do you know if a double bottom has done a complete double bottom? Remember even we have a half. So half is TP1, neckline is TP2, then you'll measure half of the half, TP3, and then the last is TP4. This is a complete double bottom. We still have a double bottom like this. And that's why I'm saying you have to know the foundation of double bottom. We have a double bottom that this is the neckline and then this is the, so we have a double bottom like that. So the first bottom and then the second bottom. So you need to ask yourself, if the double bottom happens, where will it lie? They are double bottom, they come, 
they break the half so that that's tp1 so that they go to the neckline but they fail to break the neckline when a double bottom fails to break the neckline maybe it goes back it fails again to break the neckline it goes back it is no longer a double bottom what do you think is being formed a double bottom can form a ranging market did you know that did you know that a double bottom can form a ranging market? And the last that what we'll be discussing today is when you have a double bottom, this is your double bottom, and then the market is uh, has two attempts. So I will have two attempts here, first bottom and the second bottom. So that's the first bottom, and this is our second bottom. So, Whenever you have this double bottom, the market comes and approach the half. So we can see the market approaching the half and failing to break that half. So it can either range at the half or fail to break the half. And then eventually the market goes down. And what you will notice, it has broken the, the double bottom. It has broken this area. What do we call this? We call it an inverted cup and handle. What has happened here, this is a cup and this is the handle. That's what we call an inverted cup and handle. Now, have you understood that? Have you understood that a double bottom can bath three patterns? So anytime, and this is to show you that anytime you see a double bottom, put in mind that it can bath three patterns. This is what you're seeing here. It can either do a complete double bottom. So if it does a complete double bottom, this is what I mean. So we have our double bottom figure it out. So I want to do A first. So you have your neckline and then we'll measure our half. So that is our half, our neckline. Neckline, I always love color red for some reason. <laughs> so I have this double bottom. If it completes number one, what I have said, the market will come not only will it touch the half, but it will break the half. That half is our TP1. Continue to the neckline, break the neckline, continue the distance of this double bottom. That, was, that is what we call a complete double bottom. That is what we call a complete what? Double bottom. Remember, a complete double bottom has four take profits. Take profit one to the neckline, to the half, take profit two to the neckline, take profit three to the half of the distance and the peak of the distance, you see? So this is a complete double bottom. The only way to trade a complete double bottom, it, it, tra it is traded by steps. I cannot look at a double bottom and I say, I will trade you at up to TP4. No, it does not work like that. You trade to TP1, you wait have to be broken, you trade, you target TP2 neckline, you wait neckline to be broken. Now TP3 and four, it is the four is not guaranteed, three is guaranteed. How do we trade now the ranging one? The ranging one is if the market did not break the neckline and instead it came down. So you see the difference is if they never broke that neckline, they will form this and they will form a ranging market. Most markets that have a double bottom and fail to break neckline, they start ranging that way. So you will find that a double bottom that has failed to break neckline, automatically it forms a ranging. Now we need to understand uh, the last one. And you, you are the judge. The last one, you will be even, you will tell me what this market will give us because it happens step by step, you can't force it. You, you have to react, we cannot predict. Even me right now, maybe the, if this was a current market, I cannot tell you which one it will be taken. So the third one, and I've said, is when the market, the buyers takes control, but fail. They fail to break half, they can fail immediately, or they can even range quite a time, just attempting to break that half and fail. And when they are dropping, they drop and break out of this box. You see, they break out of this. This is our this is our determiner. If the sellers are defeated, the first attempt is always the determiner. So the market, the sellers come and break out that. What do you think we have? We'll have an inverted. We'll have an inverted what? We'll have an inverted cup in hand. So the question is, now will you be able to spot what is happening? 
That's the question. That is the biggest question you should ask yourself. Anytime you see a double bottom on a downtrend, these things can happen. These three things can happen. Even a double bottom on an uptrend, it doesn't matter. Any double bottom, these three things happen so fast. And when you have a double bottom on a downtrend, you're not even waiting for this to happen. At least these two can happen but not the complete one. So at least a double bottom on a downtrend, you are double sure that for it to complete, it might take time. It will take the hand of God <laughs> for it to complete. So here you have a cup and handle, and this is not just a cup and handle, an inverted cup and handle. And this market is telling you that if that, if that happened, I will go down. So cup and handle have to take profit. It has the half of the distance and the, and the last previous area. So if this happens, that's what we have. Now, are we clear? Comment down below and tell me, did you know the three things that the double bottom can give, the three patterns? Did you know? And mention, mention in the comment down below. Let me tell you, when people, people are used to listen videos, just you come here, you listen like you're watching TV. And I keep saying, this is not a, it's not an entertainment <laughs> station. This is a learning place. You come with your notebook. You come serious because remember, God is seeing you when you are learning these videos. God is seeing your heart. God is seeing your interest. God is seeing your zeal. The minute you come here and take screenshots, you take notes, you, you do exactly what I say because these things are revealed to me by the Holy Spirit. Don't think I sat in a class and I was taught. And I'm privileged to teach people. Why? Because when God gives you a gift, he doesn't give you a gift for yourself. If you know how to sing, you can't sing for yourself. You sing so that God can be glorified through your life. Why am I teaching? I'm teaching for God to be glorified through my life. He will use my life to bring glory to him. Because if I can teach things that have not been taught, it's only, it's only evident that the Holy Spirit himself taught me these things. Trust me. Look at all the videos on here on YouTube and tell me if anyone even will be willing to teach you these things. If God gives you these things, you have to teach. And that's why I will only teach what he's, say, he's telling me to teach. What he's telling me to teach to my paid students, I will teach them those, that. What he's telling me to teach free on YouTube, I will teach that. Don't think I decide for myself. I have a father who decides for me. So let's continue. Uh... Now we understand the three patterns. And I've said, most probably, the first one will not happen. Most probably, the first one will not happen. So what will happen here is that if at all now we start, we reset. We reset everything. Oh, you have a double bottom. Ah, you have a double bottom. OK, let's now figure out how this double bottom will work. Now you have an understanding. You have a wisdom, a unique wisdom. You know that this, three, uh, that this double bottom it can bad three things. And the first one, it can be, it's, it, the chances of the first one to complete, it's very rare. So the, the two are very possible. So if I want to have a ranging market, they break, if they break this half, of course, they will go to the neckline. But if they fail to break this half and they come and interfere with my first attempt, automatically I know I'm looking for an inverted cup and handle. Guys, are we together? If you're together, Comment down below. I don't want, you know, when you're teaching online, you think like you're talking to yourself until you hear someone says, oh, I listened to your video, I've made profits. And then you're like, wow, okay. So people are listening. So I hope even you, you will apply these things. You, it will be, I'll, you will have so much light and it will be transformed. My main goal is for people to be transformed through my videos. And because God is using me, you see, when God is using you, you have to know. I don't need someone to tell me, oh, God is using you. I know God is using me. If it's not God, I cannot even teach. Trust me. I'll be doing other things. But when God commands you to come on YouTube and teach, trust, trust, it's God. It cannot be a human being. Uh, so we have that. Now you need to understand that you have known it's a downtrend, a double bottom on a downtrend. The next thing, what strategy are you using? Remember, I always say, a double bottom on daily, weekly, monthly, we use WBB. WBB, we have three entry signal. Number one, I will not go into details. Number one, wait for green candle. Number two, check if it's bullish angle. Number three, if not, do WBB. So we come here 
and we are waiting for what? What are we waiting here for a green candle? So you come the following day and you have a green candle. These are green candles. And then you ask yourself, according to the signal given, the three entry signal, yes, I have my green candle, but did it engulf the green one, the red candle? Did it? Did it engulf the, uh, the red one? No, the question is, it did not. So you take the green candle and you put a box. Remember, the goal here is not to buy. The goal here is to know what will happen at my half because we cannot buy at this stage. We want to know, will it break half so that we can go to the, to the neckline? Will it get rejected? And then we wait patiently to know if we will have an inverted cup in handle or will it break the neckline and to know this market will, uh, will go all the way. So you have the box. That's what we say. If not, WBB. So it is in place there. And then the next, what happens? You have a red candle. Anytime you have a green candle inside the box and the red candle happens, I always tell my, my students, both paid and on YouTube, you remove the box and then you start again. What are we waiting for? We want the candle to engulf the red uh, candle. We want to start the process again. Now wait for a green candle. So we wait for green candle. And guess what? The green candle has come. Not only it is it is engulfing this is a momentum candle and you're thinking oh a momentum candle i have how many pips i have up to here 61 pips that is good money and if at all you will buy up to 61 pips trust me you don't exactly target up to the half even you can do 50 pips let's try 50 pips long position remember the goal is not even to buy so don't be blinded by buying because we want at least to be confirm that this market will break half. If it breaks half, we have more chance. So we'll, we are doing 50 pips. 50 pips is just uh, below there. So we are doing 50 pips on this trade. We are not really targeting half because we are ish ish. I double bottom on a downtrend. What if it does not reach half? What if you see we will have those what if? So you come the next day and let's see what happens. So the TP has been hit and you can see the market is now as they have, you don't know what has happened. But the question is, people don't understand that what has happened here, it has activated a new pattern. Can you see? This is a new pattern. And that's, this is another lesson. I will not go into details on this lesson. That's why I'm saying, if I can teach you what is in my head, let me, let me tell you, 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 it can't take one day. It cannot take one day. So even looking at this pattern, yes, it has at, at the half, but what have they done? They have activated a new pattern. And them activating that new pattern, they're just telling you that buyers have a hard time pushing this market. They have activated this new pattern and now we have a double top. We have a double top. So if at all even you're, you are understanding about the double top and you just measure half of this double top and say, okay, for this, for me, if this is a, a double top, let them, let me put a different color. Let them uh, break this half of this double top. Then I will know sellers are in control. And then now you need to understand they will take this double top so seriously that if this double top will still do the three things I'm telling you, it can have a complete double top. It can have an inverted uh, uh, standing cup and handle. It can have a ranging market. That's how the market is like twisted. So this market, if it breaks half, it breaks the neckline, guess what? It is going that distance. You can imagine. So I don't want to deal so much, so much on this because this is a new, this is a new concept of, we call it a shifting double bottom. I call it a shifting double bottom or a shifting double top. You started with a double bottom and then you find it's a double top. Then you start trading double top. Then it forms another double bottom. You, it, it's called a shifting double bottom or a shifting double top. Now let's see what happened after that. Can you see immediately, immediately after touching, it even touched well, immediately after touching that half, guess what happens? The sellers, it's like they were waiting. They were waiting for the trap. So anyone who didn't know that you don't trade to TP2 if half has not been broken, they are, they are doomed. Like these are many pips. 
So let's see what happens. So half is broken and the market is approaching half. And remember, we have the bigger picture. So what happens is that we are looking forward for one, we are looking forward for the market. So we are no longer interested in this half has been broken. So we are, we are interested with what? With that neckline. So we have a neckline and we have a faster tail. I want to show you even the more reason why this market will drop. So you see, they have attempted to, to, to break the neckline. They are tempting. And, and you see what is happening. Someone will say, oh, another double bottom has been formed. They don't know that they are working on this double top. So this is just a blinding. It is just for you to be blinded. So they, so in this trade, you're not inside. And guess what? Not only they break the neckline of the new double top, but they break the they break the double bottom, the double bottom. Breaking this double bottom, they are going down as an inverted cup and handle, and still they are going down as a complete double top. That's how forex is. It is a twisted zone, and and as long as you have the blueprint, it will be easier for you. So. The, the, yellow the yellow distance is for the cup and handle. The yellow distance is for cup and handle. The gray distance is for the new double top. So if I told you enter your, your cell, if I come here and say, let me short this place because they have they have brewed. And you see, you're, you're, you're even going lower to, you are, you are going lower on your lower time frame to look for entry because that's another lesson. It's a, an, it's a one way to get a confirmation the market will sell. It's another one to know how to enter. If it is on daily, you can go to a lower time frame to look for entry. So let's see, did it hit the, the double top first, 196 pips, or did it go 407 pips for the whole zone? So let's see how this market behaved. Can you see? They first hit the double top because the market will always favor the current pattern. Immediately they finish the double top. What is happening? The market is going up. The market is going up. So let's see what happened. You can see immediately they, they, they hit the double top. They are ranging, but of course the market hit the cup and handle. So the cup and handle looks like this. So imagine that's the only way you can trade double bottoms on downtrend. I, I hope I have helped you. You know, I'm making this video long because one day, one time, I will find someone who will say, from your lessons, I became better. From your lessons, I bought a car. From, my, from your lesson, I bought a land. Those are the testimonials I'll be looking for, I'm looking forward for. So you can imagine, from a double bottom, if you don't know that it can give you a cup and handle, if you don't know that they can form another new pattern, you are lost. So let's see what happens to this trade. So the market still, you can see after that, the market now went up back. Imagine after finishing all this, now they have energy to go back up after finishing the pattern. Anyway, guys, that was it for the lesson today. I hope you have really enjoyed the class. When we come back to lesson six, I don't want to promise you what I will, I will teach you, but it will be very, very informative. The only thing you can do is to comment on these videos, to share on these videos, and also to come with a notebook because this is not an entertainment zone. I'm just here to make your life better. Thank you so much and I love you.